Hey guys, I have something very exciting for you today. If you like me and work a lot with Warbler, you know it's an awesome material. But it has one major disadvantage. The rough surface. So the guys who make Warbler fought long and hard and... <gasps> Wait, what? Warbler is evolving! So this is black art or if you're lazy like me, black warbler. What's the difference? Let's check it out. Just like regular warbler, this new thermoplastic comes in sheets. One side is super smooth and shiny while the other is a bit rougher. When you heat it up with a heat gun, it gets flexible and sticky. Unlike brown warbler, the glue inside is not as strong. Blackout also sticks to regular warbler and other thermoplastics. As a little demonstration, I will just rebuild my wizard breastplate for you. I will stretch the material quite a lot for the booby cups and also sculpt it for the spiky things. Also, don't forget to skill double wielding. It will speed up the work a lot. To make the cups, first I fold the big sheet. Then I cut out two squares and heat up the material until it's soft enough. Apply silicone or wax to separate the warbler easier from the acrylic globe. Now comes the stretch test. Looks good! It did not tear apart and feels a little bit more flexible than regular warbler. As you can see, black art consists out of smaller particles. This stretches the material more evenly and results in a cleaner surface. It can still become rough though. I painted the pieces a bit to show you the texture better. Now let's get back to work. Create two cups and cut them round. We'll keep the leftovers for sculpting work of course. Now I printed out the breastplate pattern from my armor pattern collection and adjusted it a bit. I trace the pattern twice onto craft foam and cover it with black art. Cut around the border and bring it into shape. I just used my dress form for that step. With some additional heat, it's easy to connect all the parts. Then I used painter's tape to draw the patterns for my details. They were also made out of Warbler craft foam sandwiches. Our leftovers from before are perfect to sculpt small pieces. Heat them up, roll them around and bring them into shape. You know the drill. To apply them, I heated up the breastplate as well. Afterwards, I used double layer warbler stripes for some final touches. It's actually interesting that black warbler is not as sticky. So if you want to replace something, it's easy to loosen a connection without damaging your work. The next step is priming with wood glue. Even if the material comes in super smooth sheets, stretching and bending it will still roughen up the surface. As you can see, especially the booby cups need some additional work. I actually applied only two layers to get a nice finish. Regular Warbra usually needs around five or six. Since the material is black, painting dark armor is now a lot easier too. With regular acrylics, the paint job was done pretty fast. And the breastplate was done. As you can see, the material is really quite nice. It's also a little bit easier to handle than regular brown wobbler. You don't really need to switch, but an update is worth it as well. I will probably use some black wobbler for my next project to save some time on priming. So I hope you liked this little review and if you still have some questions, just leave me a comment. See you next time. Bye bye.